looking in upon us tonight. We are just blessed to be in the land of the living. Yeah. I had some sad news talking with one of my former track girls, athletes. Uh, her family members were coming back from driving back from Arizona. And while uh, driving, a pickup truck had uh, swerved to miss trash, something that was in the freeway. And in doing so, uh, the cars that the car that her family members were in, I think it was about five of them that were in, swerved. Uh, the big truck swerved. The truck swerved and hit them and killed her uh, father's brother's wife and killed uh, the 15 year old and there, one of her aunts is presently in Bakersfield Hospital in critical condition. And her 17-year-old cousin, they had to fly her to Stanford. I was talking with them and the family is gathering around the loved ones and lost the loved ones. And I believe this happened Monday, was it Monday? Well, it just happened recently. And you know, my late pastor would say, next time, it may be our time. Yeah. Many times, great St. John, uh, we have been traveling on the dangerous yeah. highway. Yeah. Yes. And God had protect, he had protected yeah. us. Yeah. Going to St. Louis. Yeah. Going to Washington, D.C., going to Vancouver, Canada, right, yes, Germany, yes. Alabama, yes. Mm -hmm. and God took care of us. Yes. That could have been us. Yes. And another thing, too, as I was praying at three, after I prayed around three o'clock this morning, I text Sister Audrey, and I was asking her how I was how she's doing, what's going on. And she, this morning at 6.30, she, she texted me back and she said, my, uh, there has been a great change. Yeah. I'm gonna pray more. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you to stand with me as we pray for these families yeah. and this situation. God is good. Yeah. Thank you for another Wednesday day of 
fasting and praying. Praying and fasting. We come at this present hour with an intercessory prayer for the family of Sadiq Calloway. We pray for Sister Audrey Smith. We thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for what you are going to do. We call on you because you heard our prayers in time past. So we come on the pleading terms of new mercy. Oh, just to say, have mercy tonight. But when you have mercy, look upon the child that's in Stanford Hospital. You are there everywhere. And her aunt that's in Bakersfield, both the children of condition. Lord, turn. We pray thee for the better. Strengthen the family during their hour of bereavement. Oh, please, sir, have mercy. Your comfort in the time of trouble. Have mercy tonight. And then others who've lost loved ones. Yes, yes. Those who've lost babies in Chicago, yes, yes. other areas, Baltimore, yes, have mercy. Yes, yes. Lost their babies. Yes, yes. Gun violence, have mercy. Yes, yes. New York. When this life journey comes to an end, we need you tonight. Yes, yes. When we got up this morning, we need you. Yes. At the noonday hour, we need you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need oh, God, we need you right now. Yeah, yeah. Forgive us of all of our transgressions. Yeah, yeah. Whatsoever yeah. we've done, said our thought. Yeah. But the pleasing in your yeah. holy sight. Yeah. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. We pray that those who will come before your people guide their minds. Yeah. Put your words in their mouth yes, yes. and in their hearts yes. that some soul will be strengthened yes, yes. or saved. Yes. This prayer we pray in the name of Jesus and for his name's sake. And they all said, and after this manner, we pray, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Let's give God a standing ovation. What goes around comes around. Uh, uh, 
Salik's father, while I was coaching her back in the 1970s, 75, 76, 77, 1975, 1976, 77, he was there right by my side. Right. Now, it's my time, our time, with you, your prayers, yeah. Yeah. to uphold them yeah. in prayer. Yeah. You never know, when you treat people right, yeah. I heard the late uh, Reverend White, who was pastor at uh, BB Memorial, right. yes. he, he said that he felt deathly sick in, uh, uh, on the streets of New York. He didn't know anybody there, but somebody came to his rescue. Oh, you never know when you do right and when you treat people right, you don't know where that blessing is needed in your life. It doesn't matter what color you are. All lives matter. Whether you black or white, all lives, all souls belong to God. You don't treat one person differently. That's wrong. And I just want to say that <clears throat> they're strangers. My wife and I, Sister Scott and I, was driving on vacation one summer, and she was driving. And we saw an accident, a, a, a van full of people. They were all Caucasian, all white. The van got out of control and was rolling over, bodies was going everywhere. It was a divider between us. And something came up with him, straight toward us, she maneuvered out of the way. <clears throat> and bodies were all over the field, in the middle where the grassy area was. And I jump out the car to go minister. It doesn't matter. It didn't matter if they were. I didn't say they. Oh, they black. I know. I mean, they white. I'm like, I got out the car because help was needed. I got over there and I said, No, you lie down too. I gotta get up here. It was so so historical. I said, No, just relax. Sometimes you don't know when you're called on your blessing. You said your blessing by mistreating somebody. Next time, it may be your time. Let me tell you, what you sow, that shall you reap. Right. He's all I need.
opportunity to be, first of all, back in the house of prayer. Yes. I'm certain that we will always return, but every time we're able to come through these consecrated walls, it's truly a blessing. Yes. Our scripture tonight is from Psalm 46. Psalm 46. How appropriate it is for this time that we are living in right now. Yes. And the first verse in that psalm says, God is our refuge and strength, yes. a very present help in trouble. Yes. Right. And verse 2 says, Therefore will not we be. God is our refuge and our strength. He's saying to us, you don't have to fear. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yes. I'm holding you. Yes. I'm protecting you. You don't have to fear. Yes. And the other part of verse 2, uh, two says, And though the mountains are carried away in the midst of the sea, that's trouble. Yes. All of us are dealing with something. Right. Sometimes it's amazing that trouble can come unexpectedly sometimes. Yes. If you don't be prepared for it, it just shows up. Right. The third person said, throw the water. They're talking about the various struggles that come. Throw the water. They are a roll and be trouble. Mm -hmm. Throw the mountain, shake with the swelling they are. You come time, sometimes the problem will come. And it'd be so devastating, it'll shake your very core. But thanks be to God for that first verse that it said, God is our refuge, and he is our strength. If we don't have to fear, though these troubles will come, to have the assurance in verse 1 that God got you, that he's your refuge, and he's your strength, you don't have to fear, even though they're coming. God will make a way during your circumstances, during your troubles. During those hard times, he let us know I'll be with you. Yeah. And then it goes by the first one, they tell them about some of these problems. So though the rivers the stream, therefore there is a river, the stream where I shall make glad the city of God, yeah. the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Yeah. That is telling me that God is with us. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy yeah. Spirit is with us. Yeah. God is with his people. Yeah. So we don't have to fear what will come up on us. Yeah. yeah, trouble will come. Yeah, disappointment will come. Right. But we got the assurance now right. that God right. is with us. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is with us. He's with his church. Yeah. Yes. It's a bad thing at this time to walk away from God. Yes. Don't leave the church regardless of what is going on. Yeah. Don't leave the church. Right. God is in the midst of us. Yes. And he says in that before first again, I'll read there the rivers, there is a river where I shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the temple of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, yes. mm -hmm. and she shall not be moved. The old, this old ship was iron, we call it this old ship was iron. The church, it won't be moved. Right. Old people right. come and say all oh, this about the church, say all oh, things about the pastor, say all oh, things about the officer and everybody else. But the church was saying, yeah. when the world is open, the church will stand. God yes. will hold this church. Yes. God said, I hold the church as the apple of my eye. Yes. That's the church is in this time. Yes. Heal somebody in God. Yes. One of my points is that crisis versus God. Mm -hmm. When you're really facing a crisis, yes. don't blow up your hands. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no. Turn it over to God. Yes. When you're going through something, look to heaven. Yes. Don't look down. Don't look at your circumstances. Look to God. He's the only one to help us. Our next right. one. No time to be independent. Don't try to isolate yourself from God. Amen. This is the time to get closer right. to God. Right. Get closer right. to Him. Yes. When your trouble comes, plant some good seed. Yes. Don't do that bad stuff that trouble uh, wants you to do. Uh, right. But plant good seed so they will come up again. Yes. So during that time, God is with us. No time to be independent. God is real. Is a real yes. refuge. Yes.
It is so needed in times like this. Amen.
speaker to officers and members of this great church, to all of you. I teach the youth men's class, and then deacon number two. Amen. Psalm 46. And our brother says, if you need refuge, God's got it. Yes. That's right. Amen. If you need strength, yes. God's got it. That's right. So you can't get none of that without God. That's right. Amen. You're not going to have refuge, and you're not going to have strength to go through nothing. That's right. But you're going to have God. That's right. That's right. Jerusalem had no rivers, but it had God. Wow. The life yes. of yes. sustain yes. the people's yes. lives. Yes. All right. That's what will hold you and keep you. Yes. yes. Sustain you. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. He's all you need. That's right. Yes. Yes. No need to worry and fret on nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. God has you in his hands. Yes. 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 As long as God lived among the people, yes. the city was invincible. Mm -hmm. All right. They couldn't destroy Amen. it. Amen. They couldn't do nothing with it. Mm -hmm. right. Because God was in the midst. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, when the people abandoned him, right. God no longer protected them. That's right. Right. That's and right. Jerusalem fell to the Babylonian yes. army. Yes. All right. 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 Without yeah. God, you're going down. That's Amen. right. Amen. 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 War and destruction are inevitable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But so is God's final victory. Yes. yes. Fear yes. not. That's right. You really already have the victory. That's right. You don't want to win this out. That's God. right. Yes. It is important to take time each day mm -hmm. to be still and exalt God. Yes. He learns it. Yes, he does. Yes. Everything yes. he does on the day is like this. Amen. 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 As Christians, as Christian children of God, we must be confident in God's protection Amen. and power. Yes. Yes. You don't need to walk Amen. around here sad, right. okay. worried, stressed out. Right. You say God is with you, All right. you should yes. show some signs. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Somebody should see a light in you. Yes. Yes. Somebody else that's down. Yes. Yes. They look at you, they talk to you, they lift you up. Right. Right. Yes. Be still. Yes. God is with us. Yes. He is our refuge and yes. our strength. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes Stay with the Lord. Yes. Stay yes. on the winning side. Yes. That's right. And your family, you and your family. Right. Right. Amen. 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 around. 
That's right. You can depend on God's word yes. for calmness. Yes. You ever felt upset on the inside yes. and you could not calm yourself down? Right. Anybody ever experienced you couldn't calm your own nerves? Yes. Just yes. jittery and just, and, and you couldn't get it under control? I know what it's like to pick up God's word yes. right. and to read his word. Yes. And then I look up to God and I say, ooh, I feel so much better. Yes. I say, thank you, God. Yes. Thank you for your word. Yes. God's word is my motivation every morning. Yes. When God wake me up in the morning, I look forward to reading God's word. Yes. I don't want to go to work until I read God's word. Yes. I cannot go to work until I read God's word. Yes. Why? Because I'm not going to get the work done. My mind now regulates me to do the job that God gave me to do right. until I read God's word. When I got up this morning and I left to go to work, I noticed a lot of ashes on my car. That's right. And all I could do is say, God, have mercy yes. and God, thank you. Yes. Thank you that I even got a car to go to work. Yes. Right. Because the fire could have been way over here. And all of us could have been protected. Yeah. But even though know, it looks like it's out of control, and so much is already happening, just know within your heart, God got everything else. God is good. Continue praising God, for he is our refuge and our strength right now. Yes. 
says, God look at his praise. Yes. Yes. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Yes. God is always going to be exalted. Yes. In every yes. situation, God is always going to be exalted. Yes. Something yes. bad may happen, but then that will give God the glory because yes. in the midst of something bad happened, we recognize how good God is. Yes. We recognize how blessed we are. Yes. We recognize how gracious God has been to us. Yes. God will always give his praise. Yes. And then my last point says, there are times when it's good to be reminded who we're with. Right. And so it says, be still and know that I am God. Yeah. Yes. Do we even know yes. who God is to us in our lives? And that right. was a good question for myself. Are am I reminded of who God is to me? How good yeah. he's been to me? How he's been keeping me? Right. How he's been watching over me? How he's been protecting me? Yes. So I understand how good God is to me and who I am yes. with, who I serve. So that's just a good reminder to remind us, who is God? Mm-hmm. Who are we Who are we serving? Why do we serve him? I encourage you as I continue to read this lesson, it just makes me think of how good God is to us. Even this weekend, from the thundering and the storms and the time of rain and the heat, it just shows how powerful God is. trouble comes but that made me thank God for him even more because nothing catches him off guard and whether the situation is big or little to us he can yeah. handle it Trouble is local, trouble is personal, uh, so much is happening right now, but God is working out. 
about his master plan. As I heard another teacher bring out, so God is our refuge and strength. Yes. Yes. Amen. Be still and know that I am God. Yes. I will be exalted among the heathen. Yes. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Yes. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Yes. It's amazing how unconsciously that many of us who are in the church feel it's all about me. It's all about me. But this Psalm 46 is really saying it's all about God. It's not about us. It's about God. From the beginning to the end, our strength, our refuge, God. Yes. Right. Yes. Some said, how you, how in the world can a God almighty, all wise, omnipotent, uh, everywhere at the same time, be a little insignificant, dirt made man his resume. Right. This almighty God. Yeah. Is giving, he's so great. Yes. Yes. And he's so humble. Yes. Yes. To the point he gives me his resume. Yes. 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 He's God. Yes. Yes. All by himself. Yes. Yes. And he doesn't yes. tell me nothing. Yes. Yes. But he's great. Yes. Yes. Let me know it's not about me. Yes. Yes. It's not about us. Yes. It's about him. Yes. Amazing. He, he, you know, we, we uh, look at, oh, God is awesome. The, the song says he, he does this, the mountains yes. shake, yes. the rivers, and the earthquake, and I, you know, then the God is in the midst. And he, 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 just, he just gives us a, a picture of personification where the thing that are beyond our control, right. he controls. Right. Yes. So why is it that when we have our troubles, we feel that he can't control our troubles? Right. Oh, we can see him control right. the mountains, yes. the sky, but oh, it's out of our range. Yes. But when we have trouble in our heart, right. we have trouble in our mind. Yes. Oh Lord, that's us right. Lord can control. He's too slow. He's mm. Just be still. Calm down. Right. Calm down. I'm not so you roll, be patient. Yes. That's what he's saying. Be patient. Yes. I'm in charge. Yes. Be still. Yes. And, and know that I'm God. Yes. Not you. You can't work it out. Yes. I'm into this. Yes. It's amazing how uh, we look at the disciples. And we're human. Sure, we human. We, we we get shook up because we, we, we can't control things that are out of control. But right. so God never gets, gets shook up no. because nothing is out of his control. Right. Right. That's, right. That's, that's why he tells us to be still. Yeah. Hold your, yeah. Show your role. Yes. Yeah. 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 Put the reins on your yeah. wild mind. Yeah. Bring it back under subjection yeah. and control. Right. Yeah. Let your mind and your, your spirit know that, hey, I'm greater than. Not only you, but right. your circumstances. Right. Right. You know, it's amazing how he could just uh, let us die. Mm -hmm. we, we cry and we have these troubles. Yes. He can just let us die. Right. Let's go. And then we can deal with troubles. Right. Right. But he's not that kind of God. No. He wants to show that he's God in your life when yes. you be still and let him work. Amen. Get your little problems out, our little problems out. Yes. You don't have to tell us to calm our nerves down. No. Next time we tell ourselves. Right. 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 
You know how? Where you? Yes. yes. So impatient. It's amazing how you have to be careful in the church mm -hmm. to not get in the world. Mm -hmm. World's flow. Right. Because the world's flow is impatient. Yes. Right. And God said, be still. Yes. Be patient. Yes. And let me work. You know what I said at the beginning of the year? I said, this year, you're going to have to pray. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And fast. Amen. And to begin. And let God work his math up and out. Amen. Same thing to be still. And no, not I believe, but and no. Because As uh, I heard Sister Alicia, uh, uh, Alicia say, Sister Yula say, that uh, everybody in here has some experience. If you know God, you have some experience. Amen. 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 So that experience ought to make you say, okay, God is coming. Yes. Right. This pandemic, nobody can control. No. All, how many people, all these scientists throughout the world, they, in, a, they, in a masterful plan in their laboratory. Yes. I mean, they, they, are, they are the top scientists. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. And still doubt. <laughs> but God is not doubtful. No. 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 He just said, be still. Yes. Yes. And, and the amazing part about it, he ain't, so to speak, he ain't telling the wearer to be still. He telling the church to be still. Amen. The one that you are called out. Yes. The remnant, he said, oh, look, I got you. Right. But you got to you got to be still. Right. You know, right. And all those that are outside, the heathen, they going to see God. Right. Or God speak. Things yeah. change. Yeah. 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 God's things change. Yeah. 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 This, this lesson brings about uh, not only a comforting feeling, but it, it, it makes you feel uh, feel good because yeah. you with somebody who got power. Yeah. 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 You get some power in your energy. You go to bed at night yes. when it's thundering and thundering and lightning outside. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I don't mean physically. I'm talking about not only, not only physically, but uh, intrinsically, yes. spiritually, yes. but yes. 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 hope.
still. Slow down. Be calm. Be patient. God is God. Yes. He is in every circumstance. Amen. I enjoy that. Believe. God is just great. Yeah. yeah. I just filmed I found the song that up. I think mean, God is great. Yes. 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 Let's go. Thank God for the lesson tonight, and I really enjoyed it when you said um, it makes you feel good to be with someone that has power to be yeah. with God, and because He has all power in His hands, and just to think of you go to bed, you lie yeah. down, you feel good. Yeah. You don't take up a sleeping pill, no, no, no hot chocolate, and all that <laughs> stuff. I just, I'm grateful that I have God on my side because no matter what you I go through, you and me both. Yeah. No matter what I go through, I know he can bring me out of it and that he can bring me through. And like you said, like we have our past experiences that we can that we can look back and, and thank God for and use that to push us through to yeah. through the next through the next uh trials and tribulations that we go through. So I enjoyed the lesson. Amen. That's what got me through when I went to Utah, you know I was sick no more. You know what I was saying? I know you come. Yeah. 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 I know you come. I had to be yeah. Okay. Um, I really enjoyed what, how you brought the lesson out tonight and what stood out to me is when you said that God never gets shook up that's why he tells us to keep still and I like that point because I was thinking about my experience last week that I told you about yes, yes. at my house and that shook me up yes. but that didn't shake God up no. and although I didn't really know exactly right. and, and although I didn't really know how you know, to deal with that situation he did, and he kept us safe. So I appreciate God for this lesson being right on time because that was a present help. Yes. In my time of trouble, that was that was trouble for me. Yes. Uh, you know, I didn't, that was hard. Yes. But I appreciate God because he's all-knowing, and what I could not handle, he handled it. Yes. And so I thank God for um, being in the midst. Deacon Smith brought out, don't run away from God, stay if he's in the midst of us, stay where he is. Right, right, you right. can't have help outside of him. There is no help outside of him. So I appreciate God for the lesson because he is a present help. And you know why you're going to receive blessing? Because you're honest with God and man. Amen. What you tell about the goodness of the Lord, they is blessing. He yes. loves you. Amen. 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 He's the old second. So Amen. Amen. So Amen. What stood out to me is you saying, God is talking he is. Mm -hmm. He said, I'll be in the midst. Yeah. He's talking about the church. Yes. I'm, work, I'm working on this best of time for women. Fear, uh, fear kick in and then we lose hope 
and faith in God. Right. And then that's when more stuff starting to happen because yes. we lost our faith and hope. So I just thank God for the church. Um, I thank God uh, for being here and knowing the word and to be able to help others see to have faith in God that he's working regardless of what's going on. Yeah. All the time he's working. Yeah. 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 There's not a time he, he's not working. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. He's not only here, he's everywhere. Yeah. People are calling on him everywhere. 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 And he's there. Yeah. And he's so intimate with everybody. Yeah. He's 